boy good guy orders from here in Long Island City, Queens. We're gonna do a, a check on the New York City Department of Health and Mental Hygiene. Let's see how it goes. Hi. How can I help you? What's your name? No, how can I help you? You can't help me if I don't know your name. You, I can. I do this all day, every day. Nobody asks me my name. How you doing? I'm here to see the Department of Health and Mental Hygiene, please. Right. I'm working on a story. I'm trying to get some public information about what services they provide. So what do you guys do here? Can I get a, um, like a map or like a directory, please? We don't have any directory. Oh, so the public can't come and receive services here? No, sir. I can't get public information on what services? We don't render services. So what do you guys do in this building? It's an administrative building. You know what administration is? Yeah. So Can I speak to a supervisor? Oh, okay. So you have no idea. Can I speak to a supervisor from the Department of Health? Six seven nine zero. Thank you. Hi, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see um, which offices are open to the public in this building. I'm trying to see which offices are open to the public in this building. Okay, so how would the public come and um, gather information on what services the, the Department of Mental Health and Hygiene provide? Oh, but I'm here in person. Like a supervisor, some pamphlets. You know, I'm the public seeking services in this building. I don't have a phone. I'm here in person. It, it is a public building. It's still owned by the public. I'm just trying to see what you guys do in this building, you know? Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So that's what I was hoping to get, that information on paper here. So you guys don't service the public at all in this building, even by appointment? All right. Okay. Thank you. So they don't service the public here. It's an administrative building, which is fine. It's still a public building. So I have the right to be here in this lobby.
so they do I don't know if they have any clinics here I don't think they have any clinics or anything here Hi. Like what? She needs your help. It's okay. I was actually told to come here, but um, so we're just gonna hang around and film a little bit, see how the process works. So why is it open? You are not allowed to go into here. This is for employees only. Where do you okay? see that at? This is for employees only. Where do you see that at? This is for employees only. I'm here to enforce some of the rules of the building. Can I how's help the, you with something? How's the public supposed to know they can't? Can I help you with something? You just want to talk over me? No, I want to help you. So you're going to let me talk? Can I help you with Are you recording me? Of course. Of course? Can you back yeah. up? No. Can you back up? You can. Can you back up? You can excuse yourself. No. Can you back up? Can you back up? You came up to me. I didn't come up to you. You came up to me. So why are you telling me to back up? I'm asking you if you need any help. You're going into a... I don't need your help. A what? Well, how can I find someone to help? This is open, right? This is not a public building. It's not a public building. No access to that area. So why is it open? Huh? I'm Sergeant Ordina. We have police. Okay. So, yeah, that's not a public area. So why is it open? How's the public supposed to know that they can't go in there if it's open? There's no sign saying restricted access. Okay, so I assume that I could go in there because it's open and this is a public lobby. Okay, so you need to have signs. I respect signs. Right. Yeah, you have to have an official sign because there's no way the public's going to know. Okay. Right. I'll let them know. Thank you. So until you put the sign, I, I'm allowed to be in there because it's open. So then you need to lock it. You don't need to lock it. It's a safety hazard. It's open to the public. This is a public lobby. Lobby. Right. It's not a public lobby. It's a private building. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. So how is I able to come in if it's private? It's a private building. Who owns it? Who owns the building? Who owns the building? The owner of HR. Who? It's a New York City building, right? This is the Department of Health, right? It is the Department of Health. Okay, then. It's, this is public access, right? The public could come in here? No. So what is all these people? This is employees. Okay. You want to pass? How are you? Okay, but you're renting it, right? I am not. Okay. What's the matter? I don't have a problem. I'm just standing here. All right, you can't you can't record. Why not? Because it's not a public building. It's public access. 
It's public access. Yeah. It's a privately owned building. It's There's no public pub access. This is open to a government agency. So once you rent your property to a government agency, is that right? it becomes public. Right, go get your lawyer. I'm telling you how it works. I'm not worried about what you're telling me. Why are you, you coming so close cool. to me? Who's coming close to you? You okay? Are Why are you trying to intimidate right? me? I'm not a trying to intimidate you. Are, you are, though. You're like, you're you are like. feel intimidated? I'll back up. What if up. I come up on you like this? I'll back up. Thank you. you. Yeah, thank you. Right. I don't feel intimidated. You just said, why are you trying to intimidate me? Trying right. means to fail. Okay. Right. Obviously, you all. So, all these, all these people are the public. They're sitting here. They're not the public. They're this lady, is the, she's the public. She just came in off the street. So, you're going to ask all of us to leave? It's, it's open to the public. It's public access. So how is the public able to walk off the street and come in? Well, they want to ask any questions. New York, this is New York City Health. You, opened, you rented this building to New York City, right? So that means the whole building is public because there's a public That's agency here. It is true. No, it's not. It is. It's a privately owned building. So if I had an appointment here, right? No, there's no appointments here. There's no services to Okay. All right. It's still a public lobby. Because it's a public agency. All right, well, we'll, we'll figure it out. You cannot come in for an appointment, that's cool. it. Hmm? There is no appointment for this building okay. because there's no service to the public. Oh, no worries. It's still open to the public. You have, you'd have this right there. It's where nobody could come in unless, because it's private. If it's private, you'd have that. You walk into somebody's house. If it's open, the door's open, that's what you tell them. This isn't somebody's house. This is the New York City Department of Health and Mental Hygiene. No, this isn't the, the New York City building. that you rented out to the government, right? It's a privately owned building. That is rented out to the government. Right. Yes, but regardless, even when you come and rent a house, that doesn't mean that, you know, people can come in. And That's different. This is, the house isn't ran by the city. Right the city, this city agency is funded by the public. We fund it with our money, so, the right? When I'm not working, so I guess if I wanted to come in and ask questions, come in and ask questions that's, that's questions. what I'm doing. That's what I came to do. I can, I'm, and I'm also taking pictures and recording. I'm doing a story. That's something that the building itself okay. does not allow. There's it's no recording inside the building. With all due That's respect, respectfully, right. once they open a private building or rent it to a government agency, the public is allowed to come there because it's now public. But you're here already. So right. And I'm... You are allowed to come here. You are here. Exactly. I'm not trying to go past those doors. That is wide open. It's part of the lobby, so you told me it's not. And I didn't try to go back there since you told me, right? So now I'm just recording. I'm doing commentary. I'm working on a story. I'm in the middle of a story in the, in the public lobby. You have to reach out the public affairs if you want to interview or... I'm not interviewing nobody. Or you want a story on whatever it is that you're looking for. I'm just recording in the public lobby, sweetheart. That's it. Exercising my rights. That's it. Right. I didn't. I didn't say nothing to her. I didn't say. I didn't come to you and well, ask you. you I'm standing to the side. Area, I'm just standing to the side peacefully, recording, exercising okay. my rights. Well. Yeah, I'm not bothering nobody. But this is a government agency. Yeah. It's a government agency. I have the right to be here. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Why not? Have I have the right to come. Ma'am, respectfully, I have the right to come and check up on my government workers. It's called the First Amendment. I do. Right? You saying that nobody from the street could come in here at all, period. Well, unless you have a official business. This is official business. The yes. Supreme Court already ruled, yeah. Yes. It's a constitutionally protected activity, it's business. It's not. What procedures is that? Having an official business contacting This is official business. This is official business. It's for you, but uh, we cannot allow you in the building. Is that a policy or a law? It's a policy. Policy doesn't trump my rights. Okay, but it doesn't trump you. Your rights are trump to do whatever you want in a public place. As long as I'm not causing a disturbance, I'm not breaking the law, I have a right to be here. It's a government agency building. It's okay. They once once they open it to a government agency, the public has a right to come and check up on the government workers. We could come in here and check up on you guys. 
the government employees. Okay, as they come in and out? Yeah, that's my story. Whatever my story is, that's my story. That's my right to um, film in public. I can record here, ma'am. It's open to the public. It's a government agency. I have the right to check up on my government. If I, if I wanted to file a complaint, I can't file a complaint here. You don't have a paper? I like to do things with paper. No, we don't have that. So everything goes through 311? What if I didn't have a cell phone? What so I, if I was homeless? Okay, so I'll, I'll do that then. It's not working. Huh? Try what? I can't hear you. Nine? Thank you. So a lot of the things is that people don't understand that it's not open to the public, but they can have delivery guys here. <laughs> He's the public. He's here. That's funny. Complaints. Government complaint. Hi, I'm at the New York City Department of Health and Mental Hygiene Building, Administration Building in Long Island City, Queens. I was wondering if I had a um, a complaint. I can do it in person, right? Because I'm I'm in person. A government worker. I have the right to redress my my government, right? and they have to take my complaint. Because they're telling me, yeah, if I wanted to write down a complaint, they'd have to forward it to whoever they need to forward it to, right? Mm-hmm. Because they're saying that they can't take any complaints or any public records. Alright, no worries. Thank you. Miss, do you work for the Department of Health? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can I get a piece of paper, please? It's a, Can I get a piece of paper? Yeah. It's a private, privately owned building. I'm conducting asked, business with the New York City Department of Health. It's you can't ask me to leave while I'm conduct, in the middle of conducting business. I'm conducting well, business. Okay, what are you looking for? 
I found what I was looking for, somebody that works for the New York City Department of Health and Mental Hygiene. We I was trying to get public information, but you guys said that you don't. What? Just what, what services that the. In this building, there's no service. In, I'm talking about what you guys service. Like, what, do you, what does the New York City Department of Mental Health and Hygiene do in general? Everything from birth certificates. Right. Birth That's certificates. what I was trying to see if you had any information. Ma'am, I need a, like an actual piece of paper. I want to do a public records request. Um, I want to submit it with you. Oh, well, I can't take anything. You, can't take anything. you have to. It's the law. If I, I'm doing a public records request, what do you, what do you I'm submitted whoever you need to forward it to, to, to but you work for this department. So if I submit a re request with you, you have to, to look for take what? it and forward it to whoever you need to forward it what to. What are you looking for? I can have to public information. For? Public information? And on what? I want the names, titles, and salaries of all the employees that work here. Online? You can go online? I can do it in person as well. You, you know what the FOIA law is? You can go online. You know what the freedom of information law is? I get that. That means we I could come and supply you with that type of You have to take my request. Huh? No, you can't. What if I'm not computer savvy? What if I couldn't read? You're asking me for information. I'm asking the, not you. I'm asking the department okay. to take my request. If you go online, it's public. I'm not online, sir. I'm in, I'm in person. We don't, have anything. we don't have that information here. You need to forward it to whoever you need to forward it to, but I'm submitting a legal document to you. I need a piece of paper, it's please. It's technically not a legal document. It's a public records request. Okay. And that's what that's you what I want to do. Give you that type of I don't. I don't need the records right now. I just want to submit my request. Whoever you need to for whatever department you need to forward it to, mm -hmm. to, forward it to. But I need a piece of paper so I can write down my request, please. Again, that would be three one one. But I'm in person, you got sir. Thank you. you got a piece of paper? Would you mind? Would you mind writing down my request for me, please? No, I don't I'm illiterate. I can't. I, but you work here, though. I'm not writing down your request. That's called discrimination. I need your help, sir. You're here to sir. You, I need your help. I need you to write that out for me, please. Paper? I can't read or write. Okay, well, that's a problem. You can't help I'm me? Not here to write. I can't write out your request. Can you get somebody that can, please? Nobody here is going to write out. You have a request you want to put in writing? I give you pen and paper. You can write it out. But if I couldn't write, you need to write it for me. That's the way to. Uh, that's the way to. Can you write it out for me, please? <laughs> that's fine. You know what denial of, of public services, right? That's fine. Yeah, because I asked you to write it out for me. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, sir. You know what? The what if I had no hands and I need to do a? a you gonna tell me write it with my mouth? You understand what I'm saying, right? It's called the Disabilities Act. You know what that is? It's all right. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. We got a cam back. I knew that was gonna happen. I don't see the point in that when I'm protecting my pride, my identity.
Ma'am, you have the time? You have the time? I got this for ID. 2.33? Thank you. So we're gonna try to we're gonna wait till this lady is finished to submit this request. They over there plotting. That's what they doing. They plotting on how they can get me out the building or how they can. Uh, I mean they. We're. We already got the now public information, public uh, services. Let's submit it with this gentleman.
You say you work for the, the you work for the New York City Department of Health, right? And mental hygiene. Can can you um accept this request, please? Hey, how you doing? What happened? I want to submit this with you. If I get a stamp copy, please let me know you, you received it. There's no stamp. Like a time date stamp. Every administration building has a time date stamp. So I guess whoever, if you're not familiar with it, like whatever department you need to send it to, HR, whichever department you need to send it to, just send it to them. Mm -hmm. You guys don't receive, I mean, of course, I'm not even going to ask that question. Of course they receive money. I need a stamp copy, please. So can I get a copy? Can you sign it and give me a copy, please? I'll take this to the legal department if that's what you want. Sir, can I get a, I need a copy for my, for my files. I'll make a copy, I'll make a copy. You can't, well, I have it on video. No worries. Hello. You don't have a time, you don't have a time day stamp? I mean, the time is, you don't have a stamp? There's no stamp, I'll give you a copy. Matter of fact, I'll give you the date. That's what I said, a date, a date stamp copy. Or you sign it, let me know you received it. It's an administration building, they don't have date stamps? No, not anymore. Oh, okay, I guess it's. So he knew, it seems like he's familiar with which department he needs to send it to. So the FOIA law, if I have a public records request, and a janitor works here, and he's available. I can submit it with the janitor. He just has to give it to whatever department he has to give it to. You don't have to be the for you officers to accept the public records request, you know. But if I if I ask you to write it out, you have to write it out for me. Because if I don't have no hands, how am I going to submit a public records request in person, written? All public records requests has to be in writing whether it's on a computer or in person, it has to be in writing. So if I had no hands and I'm asking you to write it for me, I'm the public, you work for the public, you have to help me. You know, Dimitri, you understand what I'm saying, right? So if I didn't go to school, I didn't learn how to read or write, and I need your help because you work here, why not help me, you know? Because I'm recording? That's not right, because I'm exercising my rights, you don't want to help me. But I'm happy he took it. Give me a copy, I'll be on my way. You really should put a sign though. Let the public know, hey, this and this is restricted area. Cause the door is wide open. Yeah, that's the proper way to do things. You have to have signs. And there's many people from the public that came in here. We got like 15 delivery guys that came in the lobby. So, good thing he took it. He said he was going to send it to the legal department. Miss, I'm sorry, excuse me. Is it usually that the legal department that handles public records requests? They're not working from here right now. They, they're working remotely. Oh, so how would, they, how would he send it to them? He's going to send them via email. Okay, but they handle all public records requests? It's not like HR or like... Oh, okay, I wasn't sure. If he forwards it to legal and legal doesn't do it, they'll forward it to whoever. Because I think once you guys accept it, you have like five days to acknowledge it. That's the law. Okay, and then like 21, 28 days to fulfill it. I just want to let you know that. So I should be receiving an email within five days or however until they get it, you know. I've been here fucking 36 minutes. I gotta really learn how to fucking edit videos. This shit's gonna take forever to load.